Today we're going to set up a full house glider and we'll start by creating the model. So going to the base menu, touch base. While I'm here, let me show you something else. Notice how when I touch the buttons, the noise is in the microphone. Well, it gets kind of obnoxious when you're recording, so I'm going to turn that off and I'm going to show you how I do that. In the system menu, you can go to et cetera set and you can assign a controller to the volume. So I can turn dB3 up or down to get the audio volume off. So I'm going to turn off all the beeps so we don't have to listen to them during this demo. So we're going to go back. I'm going to go to the base menu. We're going to go to the model select and we'll pick model number 11 and say new. We'll use the manual function. So we'll call it full house glider. So F U L L H O U S E equal sign. We now have it on the name line. Hit manual. We're going to pick glider. Now in this menu for the wing type, we can pick any configuration of ailerons and flaps. So looking at this one right here, if you look, if I pick two ailerons and two flaps, it indicates right there on the icon that we're going to use channel 2 and 5 for the ailerons and 6 and 7 for the flaps. So it's something people don't obvious, find obvious, but it's useful. Now you don't have to go look in the book to see where your channels are. So we're going to pick two ailerons, two flaps, a normal tail, and electric power. So we now have been done the base configuration for our aircraft. The next thing I want to set up is we want to set up a control for that motor. So we're going to go to CTL set, go to the channel 8. That's where we're going to actually use the control. So I'm going to touch the none on the control column. I'm going to flip switch number 8 and it is now signed to channel 8. The next thing I want to do is change the timing on channel 8. If we flip the switch and the throttle goes into full throttle instantaneously, you're going to get a lot of torque and instability. So we're going to put in a delay on channel 8 that will allow the motor to ramp up. So we're going to try about one second. Okay, going back. So now we set channel 8 up with switch 8. And the reason we pick switch 8, it's in your left hand and it has a momentary position. So anytime you want to engage the motor, you can engage that momentary side of the switch and the throttle will run. And because we're using channel 8 and I have a little experience with this, I'm going to go over here to reverse sub trim. And I am going to channel 8 and I'm going to reverse it because I know ahead of time I need it to go in the opposite direction. And it has to do with how the switch assignment is done. Now we've set up the control for channel 8. Let's go into the function menu. And we're going to look at our phases. So first phase we want to use is our landing phase. So I'm going to name that L A N D I N G equal sign. Whoops, I misspelled it, so let's do it again. Uh, I think I got it right that time. All right, we'll go back. The next phase on phase row three is going to be our <coughs> uh, distance slash cruise. So I'm going to name that distance. those letters in so we're just going to name it distance and we're going to go back <coughs> on number four we're going to put thermal in so four let's call it thermal e t h e r m a l well better late than never thermal and lastly, on phase five, we're going to change the name of phase five to speed. All 
Alrighty. So now we've created some phases, distance, landing, distance, thermal, and speed. So we're in good, good space. All right. So once we've done that, you can then assign controls to the different phases. So all I have to do to create this phase, all I've done is name the box. I haven't created the phase yet. I'll touch on landing and I'll click on new. And that gives us a time offset and a control option. Distance, I'm gonna create new, okay. Thermal, I'm gonna create new. And speed, I'm gonna create new. All right, now in all of our phases, we will be needing a, a mix for the throttle so that the throttle will work in three of the phases, but it will not work in landing mode. In landing mode, when you pull the stick back, you're gonna be in full crow, and we don't need you ripping the controls off your wings as you hit through full throttle by accident. So we're gonna do some mixes right away for the motor to get that out of the way. So I'm gonna to go to the landing mode here. And I'm gonna assign the stick here to the mode. And pressing the enter button takes us about there, there. Let's try that and go back. So now when I go to the top, I've been in one of the other phases. But when I pull here, I'm in landing, okay? So we've assigned the stick, goes to landing, all right? Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna assign the stick to the distance, okay? And on the stick on the distance, we touch here and for this demonstration, I'm going to use switch three. You could use any switch you want, okay? So for the first position, I'm going to use the center of the switch. Go back. I'm going to use switch three for thermal also. And for that position, I'm going to use the red paddle. Go back. And lastly, in switch three, I'm going to use the blue paddle. So now we have switch three available for us to switch between distance, thermal, and speed. Now, keep in mind that in phases, you have to create trims, rates, uh, and mixes separately because each phase will change. So one of the mixes we're going to need is some mixes for the throttle. We'll do that next.